Hello my loves, welcome to Crash the Stash where we try to use up all the wonderful goodies that I have collected over the years and years and years unfortunately. I can't throw anything away. So um, today I have this really cool image that I'm only going to use part of, I think. Of course everything that I say is always subject to change once I get started. And I've got some bits and pieces. I've got some book pages. So this is just stuff that is was in my stash and um, I think would make a good background and kind of go along with kind of I'm pulling from the colors from this portion of like I'm going to cut this off this portion um, and I want to kind of stay in those color that color range we'll see um, I am going to try and incorporate in some cheesecloth and some drywall tape and maybe even some modeling paste we'll see sometimes more is not better <laughs> and I might need to delete some things out I have some stencils in mind that I want to use I want to use this magnolia the vine stencil and then um, my fave words two stencil but again oh and I'll probably throw in a few of these in the background mini uh, the mini uh, doodle stencils and that is all I know for now I'll be using um, matte medium and probably some gel medium to put down some of the heavier items. It just depends um, if they stay or not. So that is the plan for now. I want to get some really good texture and I want to um, water down some of my paints and get some scratchiness and some and fluidness in different spots to kind of get into some of the crevices that the texture is going to create. And then and try to work from this piece here you it, with the thought of rest restore and breathe um, kind of a relaxing space a place a sanctuary kind of thing so that's the plan let's get creating
Here we are. We're, I'm pretty much finished. I've walked away and I came back and I'm just kind of looking at it. And it's a, a bit of a hot mess, but in a good way. Um, it has everything that I love. And if, I wish you could see the texture and I'll have some, some better pictures. Um, but right now, what I want to do is I want to come back. And this is one of the best ways to kind of tone things down and edit things out. And 
So often one of the hardest things as we're creating is we fall in love with the background and we have to be willing to let the background go to kind of make things come together. Now again, this is our journal, this is our sacred place and so this is whatever is feels right for you. So some of you might look at this and go, oh don't do anything, it's perfect, it's just, it's great just the way that it is. But in our journals, this is the place where we, we kind of search out what we want, where we experiment, all of those things. So it needs to be to feel good for ourselves. So for me, I need to kind of edit some of this out. And I will say that I loved absolutely everything except for this blue-green paint that I put in. And I just, it just did not sit well with me. So I'm going to kind of go back over some of that. And I'm going to, I'm using gesso and a very, and a very dry brush. I'm not putting any water and I just want to kind of scrub in some areas. To, and what this is going to do is it's going to tone some things down without completely taking away all of the wonderful things that we've just done. and it just tends to calm things down a little bit. And what I want is I want it s somewhat dark around these white flowers so that there's contrast and that it stands out. So I don't want to go completely white all the way around the flowers, but I do want to kind of hone things in a little bit and just quiet them down because this is rest, breathe, restore and it feels a little chaotic and so I'm just dry brushing in some areas that feel a little I don't know dark or not exactly sure but and it won't take a lot for me to kind of do this toning down for my mind and again it goes back to us finding that sweet spot for ourselves. Our journals are our sacred, sacred place. And for me it's just a tiny bit of highlighting. It's not taking away some of that yummy color, the stencil work, the papers. And the papers show up at just the right time. And I love, love when that happens. It's just, it's magical. To me and with this dry brush it kind of gives it this mystical kind of airy cloudy misty and see just that alone makes me very happy <clears throat> I want to focus on the door because the door is the doorway it's that for me it represents that action of of resting and breathing it has to be an, a full-on action it doesn't just happen we have to make it happen and so I want to really highlight and bring that focus here on these flowers which to me is purity and rest and the doorway um, how we get to our rest in our peaceful peaceful place I love the urn here, so I'm not I'm not taking away too much from that. I did highlight some areas with some white pen to really kind of help bring that that door out. And this dry brush here doesn't hide the the coolness of this of the actual magazine page, the leaves, the vines, and different things like that. But it again brings that focus right to where I want it to be. it doesn't take a lot and you and lighter is always better to start and you just keep layering until it feels right and the other thing about the nice thing about dry brushing is it really accentuates the texture
that is it. That is exactly what I was looking for. So our, just keep in mind that don't fall in love with your background too much um, to really kind of convey what you're wanting. The other thing to keep in mind that this is yours. This is your space. This is your sacred space. And anything goes. Anything really goes. And all I try to do for you each week is give you some inspiration to create and have permission to um, just go for it. All right, loves, I hope you enjoyed today's Crash the Stash, and I will see you next week. <laughs>